let us now analyze series RC circuit across an AC EMF. Here you can see R and C are connected in series across the EMF E naught sine omega t, which is written as in phasor form. E phasor is the E naught angle zero degree. Now in this situation, if we calculate the circuit impedance, circuit impedance Z can be written as R phasor plus X C phasor as these two are in series. Which can be given as R angle zero degree plus X C is one by omega C angle minus pi by two. So here, if we draw the impedance diagram or impedance triangle or impedance phasor diagram, here you can see R is at zero degree and uh, the capacitive reactance phasor one by omega C is at an angle minus pi by two. So here the resulting value of sum of these two z we can write as root of r square plus one by omega square c square, and this is at an angle theta, where the value of theta will be ten inverse of one by omega c r. So here if we calculate the impedance phasor, this can be written as root of r square plus one by omega square c square. Angle can be taken as negative because it is in the negative side or in clockwise manner, so it is tan inverse of one by omega c r. By Ohm's law, if we calculate the current phasor in circuit, then this current phasor can be written as E phasor by Z phasor by Ohm's law. Which is here E naught angle zero degree divided by Z phasor is root of R square plus one by omega square C square angle minus ten inverse of one by omega C R. Which on simplifying we are getting the current amplitude to be E naught by root of R square plus one by omega square C square. And the initial phase is zero minus of this is ten inverse of one by omega c r. So if we write down the time function of current, then it can be given as I is equals to we are having E naught by root of R square plus one by omega square c square sine of omega t plus ten inverse of one by omega c r. This is the time function of current which is flowing in a series RC circuit. Here uh, you can see if there is a pure resistance, then the current phasor is in same phase with that of EMF. If there is a pure capacitor, current phasor will lead EMF by an angle pi by two. But here, as both are present, we can see current phasor is leading with the EMF. If there is equation one and there is equation two, you can see. Current phasor is leading EMF, but this angle will be less than pi by two. The same reasons we have explained for an inductor and resistance in series. Here, capacitor has a tendency to keep current 90 degree ahead, and resistance has a tendency to keep current in same phase with the EMF. So, due to the efforts by both of these components, the current is ahead of EMF, but the angle will be Between the tan inverse of one by omega C R will be less than pi by two, but it is more than zero. And we can also draw the phasor diagram for EMF phasor and current phasor. Like here, EMF is always at an angle zero degree, and this EMF phasor, which is having an amplitude E naught. And here you can see the current phasor is ahead by some angle. So here this I naught will be ahead by an angle theta, which is given by this one. 